I was at the used bookstore the other day, and I found a copy of The Tales of Uncle Remus, <laughs> and I'm like, ah, do I buy it for the bit? I don't even know what that is. The Uncle, the Tales of Uncle Remus is what like Song of the South was based ah, on. Ah, great! And he's got Brer Bear and Brer Rabbit and Tar oh, Baby. Oh, is that and, where all those are from? Yeah, yeah. Sweet potato pie, big shop. I think the black guy in Song of the South is Uncle Remus. Right, that tracks. I don't quote me on this. Disney has made it very difficult for me to watch that movie, mm-hmm. and, and so I haven't. But it was at the bookstore and. I'm like, maybe I should buy this. Because I just like buying books. Obscene material. I do, yes, do obscene Mein material. Kampf? I don't have Mein Kampf, no. Why don't you? I, it doesn't interest me. Yeah. Right. Not, not, not that interested. <laughs> <laughs> you bringing up Song of the South has made me think of... Um, I don't have any skin in the game in this, but they've redone a... They did a live-action series of, of Atla, after the Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. And people were, like, getting in it all in a hissy fit about how they have uh, kind of softened up some of the characters. For example, I don't remember the names. The kid, the main guy that's not the airbender. Sokka. Sokka is, a, like, a sexist <clears throat> ass- yeah. at the beginning. It's a part of his character. Arc. It's a part of his character arc that he, like, stops being a sexist ass- He's just not that in the in the live-action uh, series they've made. And people are like, but, 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 but. That's, like, part of his character. Like, now he just, like, goes to this place, and then they're mean to each other for no reason or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember the plot points. And, like, <laughs> at, at one point in the cartoon, what occurs is they go to some place, and a bunch of female warriors are there. And he's like, oh, yeah, I bet you female warriors are really capable. And they're, like, kick his ass <laughs> because they are quite capable. But not Despite being female or male, they are just capable warriors. But now that whole thing is lost in the thing. And people are like, you guys just wanted to look PC, and because of that, the character has suffered. And people are getting in a tizzy about that. I also don't have any skin in the game. I haven't seen the Netflix, and I haven't seen the original. Yeah. Or that movie they made. Apparently very bad, I don't know. Apparently. I, ha- I have not watched it. I would not watch it. And so, I'll throw my hat in the ring and say, I don't care. Brave. <laughs> the Halo TV show kind of... Merc Master Chief, and they weren't even trying to make him PC. Who the f*** asked? They just suck. <laughs> John has been waiting well, a long time yeah. to tell me about this. Wouldn't he be a Mac? Because he's owned by Microsoft. Are you... Mac is Apple. Okay in the head. Oh, f*** me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a f- idiot. That's about how badly they Welcome, are. everybody! <laughs> Dude, in the buff. We got Chris, we got John, we got Cody, and we got your host, Chris. Scat, man, scat, man, dude, now we got you with it. Oh, yeah, see, <laughs> that's very good. See, I, the reason I had said that, because I was going to go for like a, I was going to go for like a, welcome to in the buff. Zippity doo da, zippity No, 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 stop it. Uh, don't really be possible, you know. <laughs> My favorite of, of those, of the do ra mi fa so la ti do, is wow. me. <laughs> uh, because it's the only real time that I could ever like myself. do re mi fa so la. I like la, because yeah. they couldn't think of anything. They're just like a note <laughs> to follow so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I have that burned into my head because my dad would do the exercises. So it's do re mi fa so la ti do, so fa mi whatever. <laughs> Do re mi fa so la ti do so la fi so la mi fa nope. We'll he used to do it back upwards, uh, forwards and backwards over and over. <laughs> good for him. I like do because it's a very good place to start. And I like, end. I like Ray because Star Wars. F- it. Uh, mm. That's a little bit of a reach there. Skywalker. Try well, a- is that in the list? <laughs> <laughs> do re mi fa so la Skywalker no. <laughs> They should add it. Yeah. They should add it. What is your thoughts on tea? A drink with jam and bread. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of tea. They're it's like, German in it's that like movie. Dirt water. I think they're Austrian. But I, I, I don't that's know. like dumbass. A, <laughs> that's like I know the Nazis thing. were in there. Yeah. At some point. And Julie Andrews is a very pretty Italian. Maybe Hungarian? Lady. Huh. Is her name Julie or Julia? Why'd you stop at Doe? You also like tea. If you're going to be a fat kid, f***ing own it. How about you spill the tea? 
Uh, about you how tea, you like wait, tea. Wait, you got tea to spill? <laughs> oh. Tea doesn't go with jam and bread. It goes with cake. Everything goes, goes with cake. It's still just milk, I suppose. <laughs> I pour my M.A. tea over my cake, actually. <laughs> I'm actually, weirdly, pouring tea, like I hot tea... It. You can't do you this. You can't own the character. <laughs> Scott has copyrights. If you pour Sorry. hot tea over cake, it's weirdly more normal in my head than pouring cold milk over oh, cake. Okay. It's both are odd, but hot Get tea. Get out of my house. Hot tea <laughs> is less weird to me than cold milk. For anybody that needs caught up, <laughs> there's, there's... Chris trust enough us <laughs> enough to reveal that when he eats chocolate cake he pours milk in a bowl and then puts the cake no, in no, that no, no, bowl no, that's barbaric i put the cake piece into the bowl and then pour the milk pour the milk over it okay. excuse me uh, i'm hold sorry on. for misrepresenting is it here. only chocolate cake no it's all cake okay cuz if, if that was the case i was going to call you a racist and, <laughs> it's also most pie Okay. okay, that's weird. Because no! pie's not gonna absorb it. What in the hell? It's also, it's also most sweet dessert things. What do you do next? Do you just f dump some milk and some chili? Like what the f is wrong? Oh, no. Oh my chili god. Chili goes in peanut butter. I, I, that that I was so close. To, yeah, he likes peanut butter and sandwiches and chili. I don't know. I was so close to having a gag reflex thinking about milk and chili. Like, yeah. pouring cold Bro, milk over top of hot chili. Guys. Oh, that red chili is just gonna turn pink. <laughs> oh, God. Tomato soup has cream in it. I'm saying just the idea of making a bowl of, ch like, nice <laughs> pot of chili, getting a bowl, and then getting a glass of well, milk of course and that would it. be wrong. I also, oh, that's where you draw the line. Yeah. Uh, I also think cookie crisp is a bad idea. <laughs> you dip cookies into milk you don't pour milk onto cookies okay Are all right you hear me, me out i've had a bit of a revelation here why do we even dunk the oreo to get my I, in okay somewhat. yeah now it's now it's my turn to reveal <laughs> <laughs> i don't dunk the oreos you yeah. i <laughs> shut the f up <clears throat> i get uh, i'm coming out of the closet here guys i take the whole oreo put it in my mouth and then take a gulp of milk. Okay, and you just let it sit and there? Oh, that's weird. It <laughs> gets all over your teeth! No, no, no. It's yeah. gonna get all over I, And then I kind of, I kind of no. slosh the milk you... around like mouthwash, no. and it softens <laughs> off the cookie. No, I learned this from the mafia. <laughs> you take cookies, and you take, a, uh, you make sure the, the mouth of the cup. And you the shoot cup, the Oreo. <laughs> you make sure the mouth of the cup is large enough, and you dip the whole thing in there and wait till the bubbles stop. And then it's reached. Uh, you learned from where? But, but like the mafia. The thing I is, just did it on my own. Your fingers are I getting was like the Oreos. Yeah, you're, that. first off, that's absurd. Uh, secondly, <laughs> your fingers get super cold. I don't give a. And shit. Sometimes, like the Oreo loses its its and then integrity. It breaks off and, and you're like, Shh. And now you got to send a recon Oreo. Then, yeah. And if you ever think about, <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Yeah. Search and rescue Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens when you drink the milk? Yeah, you're not going to be able to fit down to the cup. Well, normally what I do is I hold the cup upside down and pat the bottom uh, until the, okay. the bits come out. It's gonna be, this you might be you're talking outside just, religious. Just like I, it's not like I eat Oreos. I like how you're making that when no one's gonna <laughs> see you. <laughs> we had, for for whatever reason, like a little pack of Oreos and nobody was eating them. So I'm like, I like the Oreos. And they were like the tiny ones that you couldn't dunk. Oh, the thin. Mm. Um, and That's so I'm like, I, I'm gonna put it in a bowl and I put some milk on top of it. I oh, say, like that's cereal. Cereal. And I just had yeah. it like cereal. If it's really little, like that, that feels more like cereal mm -hmm. than anything. But else. like, what's stopping us from just doing this with a normal Oreo? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Our bowls aren't big enough. Oh. <laughs> like, you was... need to scale up the bowl. <laughs> what's, what's stopping? Do you <laughs> have sensitive teeth? Uh, no. I, okay. Not really. All right. Because like me, milk ain't staying in my mouth for more than a couple seconds. See, I. I I, I people, have, that around. people have commented on this. I'll just bite right into ice cream. <laughs> You're Cody. a psychopath. No, I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm weak as <laughs> boy. Um, oh. See, then what? I what? use Sensodyne toothpaste. <laughs> Not an ad, but it's for sensitive okay, teeth. There you go. I mean, only nine out of ten dentists agree. <laughs> that that uh, sounded so so dangerously close to the. Oh. You you have uh, head and shoulders. You have dandruff. No. <laughs> <laughs> also not an ad. Uh, what were you saying? We cut you off. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, no, I was just gonna defend myself more. <laughs> like the next logical Lug. step for Lug. using. Oreos you don't need to defend is... yourself at all. There is nothing you could say that will make us agree with you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>
How do you eat Oreos if you don't have milk? I don't. I guess you just raw. You just go in dry. No. Raw dog it. If I twist, eat the part that didn't get the cream, and then you just tongue that shit. That's weird. You you don't eat the cookies? No, I do. Okay, but so like I twist it off. I eat the I eat I eat the cookie that came off without the cream. And I just tongue that shit. Something that I never really understood in like a it just like, became like an ice cream. The culture of Oreo is twist it, lick off the cream, eat the cookie. I'm like, what? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> just eat the fucking cookie. What are we doing? No, no, no. I enjoy it. <laughs> some people, life. some people eat the cream and just toss the cookies. Yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> there's they're this really good. Bastard. There's this incredible bit on uh, Futurama where oh, like, I think I've talked about it's it. a co- one. One top cookie and one bottom cookie in different wrappers, and the cream is also in a different wrapper. <laughs> and so he unwraps the top cookie, he unwraps the bottom cookie, he unwraps the cream, and he gets a machine to press them together, and then he just twists it, licks it off, and throws the cookies away. <laughs> it's the process. <laughs> oh, oh I, I love that show. Are they That's still? Great. Are they bringing it back? Are they still doing new episodes? There's they some did, like, Hulu thing. They, they did, did a shit know. ton of seasons, didn't they? Uh, it got canceled like two or three. It times. got canceled on Fox, and then it went to it, Comedy. It Central. went to Comedy Central, and it, I think it just it either got canceled. It definitely had a series finale, mm-hmm. but it might have been because of a cancellation. I don't know. Um, it had, and then um, Hulu did is didn't have three different finales because the it, Fox yeah, cancellation. The, the Fox cancellation like was supposed to like eat the universe or whatever, yeah. but it turned into three movies yeah. that led mm-hmm. into. The Comedy Central run. Interesting. Yeah. But so I think like they a, still wrapped it up fairly well with the Comedy Central run. I felt too. so, yeah. So there's an overarching story for Futurama? Yeah. It's yes, not just yeah. like one off episodes all the Bigly. time? Bigly. Most of them. Because are... I know the beginning of it was like Fry, you know, went into a cryopod on accident. There's actually a pretty sophisticated. And I knew there was like a thing. There was narrative. an episode that was like, went back to that. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was like it. I love that there's like owls everywhere in New York City. I New think New York City. The 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 joke, I believe, uh, I might be totally wrong on this. It was like the unspoken joke was we had to get all these rats, so then we released all these fucking owls <laughs> to eat all the rats, but now they're just covered in owls. <laughs> We're owl exterminators. I love that. Great. What's the next step? You just like a bunch of them? tigers, I guess. <laughs> you get a bunch of tigers to eat. No, the owls. problem is owls have no no natural <laughs> yeah, predators. No. <laughs> we escalated too chain. quickly. Yeah, should have picked something between rat and owl. Mm-hmm. I guess like a what an alligator, marmoset, <laughs> yeah, marm- oh, an alligator. <laughs> oh, don't give me. <laughs> Maybe that's an idea thought, they would wait, have. And... I thought that's why you. Oh no. I just said the word alligator. Oh man, it's the, it, even saying the word alligator makes me think of the say a a animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. Alligator. <laughs> she immediately catches it. <laughs> oh my god! Something's, something's great about just watching compilations of Fast Money and people just tanking. <laughs> Or the guy saying turkey for every answer. Turkey. <laughs> oh, I love uh, that. It's so wholesome. There's that comedy bit where um some Naked Grandma! No, <laughs> Naked Grandma! Huh? It's this British show, right? And Family like, Fortunes. They <laughs> <laughs> Um That's what it's called in the England. No, I'm not talking about it either. <laughs> the England. Anyway. No, it's like it's this uh quiz show and they're like doing these questions. And the bit is that this dude keeps saying, like, pass and stuff. Oh, yeah, and it's yeah. just, like, le- him saying, I don't know the answer, is leading into the next question. I, I've i seen that clip. I know what you're talking about. I think it's all scripted. I have no idea. No, no, no. Know. That is a comedy bit. Oh, that's right. You mentioned that it was yes. a comedy <laughs> bit. <laughs> it is all scripted, Cody. Um, no, no. <laughs> dude, I watched The Dark Knight the other day. There's no fucking way it was real. <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> No, but the thing is, it actually happened. The fact that they had a um, camera on it the whole time. Yeah. Like, how can you how can you get so lucky the yeah. that the Joker is there uh, when you're filming? It's like Peter Parker's pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> how can anyone not catch on to that? Yeah. Um, the cinematography, uh, what's the word for cinematography but for a, a picture? Photography? Is it just photography? Yeah. I guess. I think so. That's how that works. The photography alone just sounds weird to me. Mm. You know, in Return of the Jedi... <laughs> 
uh, Princess Leia strangling Jabba the Hutt wasn't in the script. <laughs> <laughs> the change just got stuck. No, Carrie Fisher just decided to do that one day, and George Lucas is like, this is a good take. Yeah. And he kept it in the movie. <laughs> he fucking walks away with a boner. <laughs> I mean, bro, he knew what he was doing. Dude, didn't he, like, I don't think he actually wanted to put her in a suit, but she was like, I'm hot. I yeah, I don't know. I've heard all. I've heard I've a lot heard of both sides of it. Like Carrie Fisher definitely has said similar to um, oh God, yeah. I don't remember. There's some other character in somewhat modern day that was like dressed in a skimpy outfit that wasn't really. Was it uh, Natalie Portman? Was it Uma Thurman? I don't know. I don't remember. But I I've definitely heard her being like because it was like cold too, mm-hmm. and she was just in a metal <laughs> bikini. Um, but then she complained about her outfit in the first movie. I don't know. Oh, I think the story there is George Lucas told her that she wasn't allowed to wear underwear in her Princess Leia costume because he's like, they don't wear underwear in space. <laughs> <laughs> is that real? I have heard that attributed oh, to man. to them. That's I pretty, don't know if that's real. If it's but... real, that's pretty fucking scummy. <laughs> I don't like that's that. scummy Jesus is like Christ. it's like we were, we learned what George Lucas's real plan it was. Is. It rhymes. <laughs> like poetry. It, it rhymes. It rhymes listen, with listen. deep throat. Natalie, <laughs> I had this conversation with, you know, um, <clears throat> like on her name now. You're doing great. Carrie Fisher? Carrie Fisher, that her, yeah, her words. I had this conversation with Carrie Fisher. Can't have it. Nope. <laughs> I know you're wearing a darker dress, so like nobody can even see the lining anyways. No underwear. But no, no. Nope. That is, I will not budge on that. George is You can't have it on Alderaan. Alderaan? You can't have it on Naboo? You can't have it anywhere. Yes, Natalie, I know you're 16 in 1999, <laughs> but they don't wear underwear in space. <laughs> it's just the way it is. What's interesting to me um, Anakin. This, this is a little bit a little <laughs> bit more serious. Go for the guys too. Uh, and less jokey. When um, Michaela Fox, is that her name? Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. She played Michaela in Transformers. Uh, when she she came out and was like Oh yeah, he was like being real weird to us on set. Like, like at one point he said, "I'm gonna spank your ass with this writing crop or whatever." And uh, <laughs> I okay. like the accent that you're giving her. I, I don't know how she sounds. <laughs> she definitely and, sounds like that. Um, like she came out and said that on like Twitter or whatever in some interview, and they she, she was like blacklisted. Hmm. Uh, somebody up top was like, "You cannot say that about uh, Michael Bay." It was Michael Bay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. he was the one that said that. Uh, I don't know if she. I, I hope her career has, uh, like, the last thing I remember her being in was uh, make, make the body. Oh, Jennifer's yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too. Oh, fuck. Well, you're <laughs> pig, bro. The scene where she like starts burning her tongue. I'm like, I didn't know I was into this. Oh. oh. God. John, like, that's a little weird. There's there a lot are. of there's a great floppy cock episode about uh, Jennifer's body. He really just goes into all the themes. That's going to be one of your homework videos. Uh, quintessential floppy cock. So we have <laughs> a corner now. Huh? What are we talking about, today, guys? I don't know. I'm scared. We've been talking about nothing <laughs> and Oreos <laughs> and Jennifer's body. I can continue talking about. Can both we those not things. talk about Jennifer's body? Why not? Why don't you want to talk about? Jen, Jen, uh, Jenny's body. Cody, you came prepared for something, right? I didn't really come prepared. It's just I was talking I with some. I always come prepared. Better come to collect. <laughs> I come to give. <laughs> He's very generous. <laughs> I was just talking with a couple of coworkers the other day about this because this is a very Friday conversation. We were having it at like Tuesday morning, right? Uh, that's how the week was going. <laughs> was it who wins when you the said fight and Mike Tyson and Jake Paul? Genuinely, when you said uh, it's a very Friday conversation, I'm like, oh, like the movie. <laughs> like the, oh, uh, I thought you meant like the song. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not alone. No, no, it's just a, it's a conversation you have with your coworkers on a Friday afternoon because nobody <laughs> has any effort or energy to put into work. Working anymore. for the weekend. Yep. And uh, we were just talking about who we thought would win in a fight, uh, a medieval knight or a Japanese samurai. Oh, remember that show? Deadliest yeah. Warrior? Yeah. Remember when the it fucking- got referenced a lot. When the knight beat the- or, like, lost to the pirate because the pirate just shot him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man. It feels like Indiana Jones. Where, like, the knight, like, is, like, fully suited up and fucking- <laughs> Pulls out the fucking sword. Bam! <laughs> 
One of my favorite uh, episodes was, uh, was it Billy the Kid or it was uh, Jesse James, one of those types, yeah, yeah. versus Al Capone or somebody. <laughs> and they're like, ah, you see Al Capone, he's got a stiletto, you know? You can hide the stiletto. And then the guy's like, here's a Bowie knife. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, here's how the Bowie knife's effective. And he just carves the shit out of this ballistic gel. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, no, 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 I think the stiletto will win this, because they had to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> this guy just goes to town on a ballistics gel dummy, and all those nerds and lab coats are like, all right, we'll put that into the simulation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got the numbers. <laughs> Spike TV was so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, who do you think would win? <laughs> Night Samurai. Night Samurai. Spike TV was made by people that huffed Axe body spray. <laughs> I know this because of your brother. Oh. The the iron and steel that Japan uses is absolute dog shit compared to the European iron and steel. That's really? why they had to do the folding technique over and over. And I've seen videos of this where a traditional Japanese katana slices up against like a steel broadsword. It just snaps the fucking katana in half. Fucking lies and problems. <laughs> you, you, Sephiroth's katana. You were going to crazy. besmirch <laughs> the <laughs> glorious Nippon steel uh, and say that your peasant European Ginsu steel. Ginsu knives. <laughs> Impossible to break or bend. That's not Japanese, is it? <laughs> Here's the thing. It, it, fake sword. It, the, <laughs> the knight and the pirate is the same argument as the knight and the samurai. The samurai had guns. Samurai didn't Samurai have guns. Have guns? Yeah. No. When? They had bows. This is after the bows, but before the samurai is retired, there was a, there was like fifty years. Okay. That okay. They traditional had... traditional samurai. I'm guy. just I'm just gonna say this. No 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 person ever has imagined a samurai with a gun. It's a samurai with either a bow, which is even that is like rare because of course they have a fucking katana. Bro, they got, yeah, it's, it's yeah, but they're mostly archers. archers. They're mostly horseback archers. You are ruining my entire belief of samurai right now. I don't give a right fuck now. about I don't know if it is. Their whole, wrong. Their whole thing you is, drink cake. Their whole thing I is, do. <laughs> <laughs> it's whole thing delicious. Is, I, I, I don't know, but Genuine. their whole thing is Bushido, right? And that's like Art of the Blade. No. Do you ever watch Ghost Dog? I guess no. not. Ghost Dog. <laughs> What's Ghost Dog? Does he get samurai? Have you ever watched? Uh, yeah, he's like he's like a, he takes on the the samurai's code. He's like just a modern day oh, yeah. gangster. And it's he, like Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Wait, yeah. a and dog? He, Wait, no. <laughs> doesn't yeah. Tom Cruise play the last samurai? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was in the. Oh, he was in that movie. He was in he? the movie. He doesn't play the last samurai. He Who was? Was it last Ken Did the last samurai have God, a gun? I love that movie, dude. No. Uh, in fact. Debunked. <laughs> it was a very, it was a very strong theme of that movie that the way of the samurai was outdated against modern uh, military. Equipment. I can get, I can get a picture of a samurai Photoshop. with a rifle. Like when we say the word samurai, I think everyone means this. When we say samurai, we mean like Seven Samurai, the movie Sam Seven Samurai. The what's that guy's name? Uh, Kurosawa. Kurosawa, the Kurosawa film Seven Samurai. We we imagine those. Right, we imagine the guy with like the either he's, got he's, the blade he's wearing the side. he's either he's wearing like the, the, the comma yeah, yeah. or he's got he's either got the comma or I the think it's laminated that, armor or the yeah the laminated armor. Um, I think purely logically, the samurai in my head has like technique on his side because I feel like yeah. the plate armor guy, the knight guy, was he like ride a horse and he does this, which like, is swinging a sword. It really, guys, it feels like his whole thing is like <laughs> like. His whole thing is just weight behind his movements. But that being said, I just, I really don't see, I, I don't know how to help people fight. How would mm -hmm. the samurai, he would have to stab. He would have to stab. I think he would also be very, like, deflective. Like, I think, because like you said with the blade, it could, if it's like, if he holds it outright against the sword, it would just snap in half and he'd get cleaved. I think. I'd assume that. But, like, I would think it would be more of, like, a deflective stance kind of thing where he's crossing a delicate line. Yeah. Uh, where he's either going to lose a hand or he's going to be able to kind of sway the blade to miss him. I'm giving it to the knight just because I feel like the knight can make way more mistakes than the same I can. I agree. Have you considered the reach and height advantage of a European nobleman against <laughs> a puny, scrawny little Japanese man? That's... <laughs> Do they have guns? The knights or the samurai? 
Apparently the samurai did. It is. I will say this. It's not weird to imagine a samurai in his armor using a bow. It is weird to imagine a knight in his armor yeah. using mm-hmm. a bow. He could use a crossbow, I guess. I was about yeah, to say absolutely. a crossbow, yeah. But when so was that we, invented? I guess... Like 1400 We say or they went in a fight. Like, before we throw every variable in there, like, are we talking a we standard one-on-one on one duel? Like, they're less than 20 feet Can away Can they from fall each in other? love with each other instead? Yeah, I'd watch Can that. Can they stab each other with their penises? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> as long uh, as right, that, okay, was, that, was that your answer after all your coworkers spent two hours talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's say open field, no terrain advantage for either of them. They're they're carrying whatever arms and armor you want them to. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm gonna have to that get are appropriate the for their time period. When uh, what's your reasoning for the samurai? Because they can use, like, the well, ninjutsu. Gumpowder's been around for a little while. Oh, <laughs> they, we haven't even considered the what? magic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those are, wait, that's a ninja. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, new question. <laughs> Who would win between a knight and a ninja? <laughs> a ninja. I mean, the ninjas beat the samurai, didn't they? Yeah. I think that's the idea. I think they're two different. I don't think ninjas ever fought samurai. Oh, no, absolutely. They, the yeah, ninjas no, rose around. up because the samurai were, were like, tyrannical. I thought ninjas were in China. No, no, no. ninjas are Japanese. That's why guy. it's Nindo, my ninja way. <laughs> uh, uh, ninja is absolutely Japanese, and it's uh, like the idea was a bunch of farmers. That's why we have weapons like the Kasari Gama, which is mm-hmm. literally just mm-hmm. a sickle, yeah, a yeah. chain, and a heavy thing on the end. Because yeah. that's what they had. Mm-hmm. They had sickles, chains, and heavy things. I feel like a ninja would win in a not satisfying way. And also, they can walk on water. <laughs> I, they, feel, yeah. I feel like they would tire Damn, out. They still have magic. They, they, they also have this thing because I watched because it was on Deadly's Warrior and they had a ninja episode. Uh, they have this thing called the black egg. They would uh, um pretty much break an eggshell in half, get rid of the shit inside, and the then, egg, then, <laughs> and then they would put in like pepper and shards of glass and stuff. And it's like a grenade? It, and they would toss it at the person's eyes and it would shatter oh, and shit, sand that's and glass. Awesome. Yeah, badass. <laughs> Ninjutsu is is literally It's science. Yes. And I love it so much. Alright. But but the Samars have those cool masks. Oh fuck. The Oni masks. Yeah. But they have to be able to see. We're not talking about Samurai oh, anymore. Man. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine that gets hit in the knight's face and it just gets in all those little spots? Uh huh. That'd be real. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, imagine this. Medieval knight, full plate armor, carrying a broadsword and a crossbow. It's knight. He's in the tall grass. Doesn't know the ninja is Loses. coming. There's, He's done. there's Pokemon? He's game over. He's in the tall grass, there's a Pokemon? As long as the ninja is using a red base black rather than a blue base black. Because if the red base black, that blends in with a knight better than a blue base black. black. <laughs> well, no. Ninjas traditionally wear blue. No, they actually traditionally wear red. I actually know this. They was from the oh. Deadliest Warrior episode. Oh, okay. This. <laughs> I think if the ninja can take down the knight in one hit, surprise attack, he's Honestly. got it. But if once the knight knows he's there, no chance. I, yeah. I don't think, I don't even think that. Like, I, I imagine, like, a horror scenario happens. Because, like, I'm thinking, like, most of the knight in full plate, there's very little areas that are exposed. I'm thinking back of the knee, dude. Yeah. Just brings get him, him down. Get him down. Mm-hmm. Brings him down. Because you just, like, you just got this titan of a dude. And now he's on one knee. You get him down and strip, strip the helmet, slice his Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, like, the egg thing, you just get, you have a couple of those, get one he's good gonna one. He's got to egg him anyway. You've gotten... <laughs> he's got to egg him. You've gotten <laughs> slag in your eye. You know how painful that is. Yeah, it's that's real bad. That's very Someone distracting. Slagged your eye? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn. And if no, it's, that's a Friday conversation I want to have. Uh, if it's <laughs> glass with every blink, that dude is losing sight. Yeah, but the knight has the face cover. Like, he's got to get something through that yeah, ice Yeah, but they don't have That's a full t- visor. Yeah, but, like, I, almost spoiled I think the effectiveness <laughs> is going to go way down. <laughs> oh, Chris, I need plus, to finish the ninja, <laughs> Plus, for the ninja to hit him in the face, he's got to be right in front of him. Yeah. Unless he smashes it into the face from behind. Mm. Or... But then why didn't you just stab see, him? You know, he he him? What if, like... Or really what if, like, arm? he got him to, like, scream in pain and then just shove the egg in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, it's not bad. Pepper? Ooh. <laughs> a little spicy glass. <laughs> you know, Pepper was really expensive to him. That'll tonight. really hurt on the way out. You just wait. <laughs> you just wait. You're gonna die from eternal bleeding in ten days. Yeah. I wonder if he would. It's just little shards. Oh, yeah, it'll it'll mess you up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. 
Who Real do you man. think would win between a bear and a knight? Does the knight have armor? What yeah. type of bear? Grizzly. Black bear, grizzly. Okay. Yeah, that'd be tough. Um, if it was a polar bear, like the knight's definitely dead. Does so? the can, does the knight have a crossbow? Let's say he's got one bolt. Okay. I mean, that's all he's going to be able to fire uh, off. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> I no longer care about this because I was I just reminded myself of a Animal Planet show that was yeah. very similar. The animal fights or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, and like, what is <laughs> Who would win like... between a lion and a, a kangaroo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that the one that had the crazy ass noises? No, that was Insect Wars. <laughs> I loved Insect Wars. In no jokes. Somebody brought up Insect Wars <laughs> at yeah. some point during the day. I, I, loved, I loved Insect Wars because it'd be like, what happens when a rhinoceros beetle fights a colony of ants? You, you hear like a jaguar <laughs> like, rah! <laughs> and like yeah, the, the, rhinoceros, the rhinoceros beetles like, rrr, rrr, and the ants are just like eating him alive because Dude, why would they? So, ants so, bad. so uh, quick tangent <laughs> to reveal another <laughs> thing I've been hiding from people. Uh, when I was living at my parents' house, I had a room in the basement, and all kinds of like different bugs and insects would get into the basement, and I would just go around and collect them, and. <laughs> oh put, no! Put Did them, you put them in, in arenas. I put them into arenas <laughs> and watch them fight. Oh my what? god! The spiders always. Won. Oh wait, of course. <laughs> wait, you would just go grab spiders? Well, like, like you're. I'd like put a cup <laughs> over them and like you know. When I was a kid, I was fucking fearless. I, I did not heed like, oh, what if it's ta- what if it's a black widow? I would just put my hand out and let it crawl on me, and I. <laughs> uh. This is also reminding me of another show from it's Animal so Planet. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> it, w- it had green text. The most extreme. Yeah, most extreme. Yes! God, we all grew up on the same show. <laughs> this is before I even knew you guys. That would be <laughs> like if a human being could jump 27 <laughs> feet in the air. And they have the little computer yeah, generated what? guy jumping over a building. Oh, man. <laughs> I love that show so God, much. Yeah. It was so dumb. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who It made me realize I liked top ten content, so when YouTube well, no came joke. out, I was oh, like, that's what started it. Alright, who would win in a fight then? Um fuck it. Um a, a Japanese samurai or a a ten year old boy from West Virginia with a gun. Oh. If he, like a modern today. Yeah, How yeah. much the experience gun, does the he have with a gun? Uh as much as you'd expect a 10-year-old from West Virginia to have. Played Call of Duty. If he's got, like, an AR-15, no chance. Shotgun. Let's say, let's say he's got, he's got a, he's got a Colt single-action army. Six-shot revolver. I, I, he's got to hit. 45 ACP. I think I give it to the boy. He has to hit. I, there's no way that, like, laminate armor could stop a bullet, right? No, no. I don't think so. I don't like it. The samurai didn't have guns. Here's the next, so. <laughs> the next question, though, I'm, like y'all are wrong. He's also got to hit like a good spot. Yeah, because like I, I mean, I'd and, assume that like the samurai. You tell me, you hit him once. He's like, ah! 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 I mean, I'm just, sure he's a trained warrior. You I'm to, sure <laughs> you get shot with a gun. <laughs> you also have to think about the concussive force. You're that samurai's getting blown back. Okay, maybe I not. Think it's think it's, think it's gonna hurt for sure. Have you never seen a gun before? <laughs> I've never been hit by a gun. Have Neither you? have I. He's only watched Quentin Tarantino yeah. movies to know how guns work. <laughs> That's Damn, not entirely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> never have a gun in a car. It's a bad idea. Royale with cheese. The I samurai will. and the boy are in a car. They're in the back seat <laughs> oh. of Jules's car. <laughs> if the samurai is right next to him. I think the boy. If wins. the samurai has a wakazashi, lower range but closer in there, yeah, yeah, I think he could get the boy. They have a smaller sword too. But would the samurai? He has honor. Would he slaughter a boy? No. Oh. If the boy was trying to kill well, him, well, if he had a new sword, he had to test. He would. So if the boy, so <laughs> so right. what you're telling me is the boy has an opportunity to shoot first. How many ten year olds can this sword cut through? <laughs> It is a eight ten year old blade. It cuts. It cuts. We cannot show you the next footage. Yeah. <laughs> I think Travolta wins that fight because huh? they're in the backseat of Jules' car. No, they're, they're they're not. They're not interested. They're they're yeah. too busy talking about royals. Yeah, they're, yeah. This is this is before they go to the apartment. Oh, okay. This is just them on the drive right to the apartment. I was going to say it's after they're actually getting rid of Marvin's body right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wish I could say that really upsetting line that Quentin Tarantino uses. 
<laughs> oh, I love that movie so much. Oh, man. I think the little boy has it. Yeah. Just guns. I, I think... I, I think it's, like... Probably, like... I, I'd say, like, 70-30 little boy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think I think the kid's gonna win. Okay. But he's got a shot, man. Like, I ain't, I ain't counting him out. Yeah. <laughs> Chris? Little boy or samurai? God bless America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Win. What, if, what if the little boy just like he shoots and it startles him? He drops the gun. He's also like, "Ow!" No, <laughs> covers his ear. West Virginia. He's already been hunting because that's the culture. He shot a man yeah. already. <laughs> uh, he shot his little brother. Actually, <laughs> oh, God <laughs> damn. Okay, uh, addendum. Same matchup, but uh, they're in the ocean. In Same the ocean. See, let me. On yeah. average, they only make the it like harder the to beach? swim. Like, they, like they can't touch the bottom. They're swimming. Oh. So. It'd be hard to swim with that armor. He can't How the tall is the average samurai? Like 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> and this is a current time 10-year-old boy? Yeah, yeah. From America? Yeah, yeah. So what was that, like 6'7"? Like, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. He's probably also, like, he's that, probably just under 5 foot. Yeah. That's from all the growth hormones. It's easier to point a gun while paddling, I guess. You're still doing this. But yeah, isn't but it the moment you get in the water, it's done, right? Yeah, I don't know. That's how video games work. If it's a is revolver? It? Yeah. I don't know. It's a revolver. Yeah. I don't. I do not know about guns and cartridges. Like, is the cartridge ruined if it goes underwater? It shouldn't be. Would it not ignite if it's underwater? It. So, the cartridge should be sealed. I think you could probably shoot modern ammunition underwater. I know in, right. like... I've definitely seen a movie where he had like an underwater pistol. Yeah. Um. Neither one. Uh, sure. They the both boys gonna, <laughs> The boys gonna get a shot off, and that's gonna cause blood in the water, and then sharks coming into everything. Uh, have you seen? Th- there was this thing I saw on Reddit years and years ago, where it was like a, this is what happens when you fall off your boat and drown. Yeah. Type of thing, and like it was to impress upon the viewer how quick this kind of thing happens, and. Uh, the idea was you had to, it was like a little game, a little interactive thing. I've seen this. And you had to press space to stay yep. above water, and as soon as you stop, you start dipping below, and uh, like it cuts forward in time a little bit, and your fucking fingernails start falling out because yeah. of the salinity of the water is like ruining you. Um, yeah, gross. That was, that was a tough. That's what would happen to that little boy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but not the samurai. He, he's wearing armor. Yeah. yeah. See, I think because uh, isn't like. No, I think I think a an adult samurai could um, effectively swim to the boy and then choke him out. I He's not even <laughs> using the sword. No, they, you would get it. You would ruin it, drawing it in the ocean. Yeah, the sure. salt water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, um, it's it staying. I in love a the sheath. idea. Everyone knows that a samurai's sheath is hermetically sealed. <laughs> um. It, he'd have real trouble we don't drawing it like real fast too. Yeah, of the, exactly. I, I love drag. the idea of him like swimming <laughs> in full armor. In full armor, he's swimming. Just like go grab this kid by the neck and just start strangling. Also, him. like samurai armor has so many little like things that will the water will literally just catch and drag onto. Yeah, you're just like, oh no. Okay. And, like, he's, I'm... Not, he's not walking. He's swimming. He can't yeah. touch the bottom. Yeah, and then like he gets to the kid, and if the kid can compose himself. Guess what? You just put the gun to his ribs and fucking fire. Do you think a narwhal would get into a fight, a sword fight with a samurai? Mm. That would be awesome. (laughs) Definitely narwhal home turf advantage. It's singing its theme song. Do you remember the game Star Wall? No. You control a narwhal and you like. It, it's like a multiplayer party type of game. You get to stab each other with the the horns. Oh, I do remember that. Parry each other. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You do that again. Narwhal, narwhal. Swim in it. Cause it come out. Swimming in the ocean, home turf. Samurais don't yeah. swim there. No, no. That's true. Although, well, maybe they, if they had well, to swim somewhere. Island. Yeah, like, Japan is a very coastal culture. So. Yeah. Mm. Hmm, maybe they do swim in the ocean. Hmm. My money was on the samurai if they're in the water. I, yeah. See, I would... If the gun can operate properly, I think the kid would win the moment the samurai got close. Yeah. Because the samurai can't easily... Like, if they're both... Staying above water, I, I think the samurai's got an opportunity to get one slash in. Okay, I, let's I, say- if I were underwater, I'd go for a, a stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. bullets don't. Well, I'm, see, I'm not thinking like that. I'm thinking like overhead. 
like you get one good kick up into the air mm-hmm. where you get like halfway over the water, like jaws ha- unleashed, like waste <laughs> out, waste out of the water. I don't think bullets travel very far through water. So if the samurai could like dive down below and like emerge above right, and right. stab the the child from below from the groin, yeah, right in his grundle. I wonder if the bullet the bullet might. I I don't know. Movies tell me differently. Um, and I've never seen like actual footage of a bullet going through water. I wonder if a bullet would just like shatter pretty fast because yeah. mm. like I know the the thing about water that makes it hard to uh, rough to land on if you're from really high up is unlike with matter like normal solid matter um matter comp- solid state matter compresses whereas liquid state matter can't mm. so the only thing you can do is move out of the way and if you're going too fast you're just gonna fucking hit a wall yeah they tested this on Mythbusters one time where yeah. they shot a whole bunch of guns into a pool and the more high power the cartridge was and the gun, the less penetrative distance it got. Because it's going so, so it's exactly fast. it's going so fast it breaks up the moment it hits the uh hits oh, the water. Did I, they try I, to shoot it while it was underwater already? They were always above water. Mm. I, so if you're shooting into water. I uh I um as soon as Scott was like uh um Try, was trying to explain shooting a gun in water. I was like, "There's got to be a MythBusters clip we can watch." Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're shooting how, in water, isn't it like you're just are just immediately hitting that surface? Though I don't know. Yeah, but if like I feel like it would fuck the gun. Like it just like it gets like halfway through the barrel and then just like <laughs> it can't go anywhere. Shit. <laughs> okay. It's trying to force all the water that's already in the barrel. Let's out. say, let's say if the if the gun gets completely submerged. It doesn't doesn't work anymore. The the uh, boy's got to keep it above water. Let's say he's got a, a, a forty four caliber sub aqua Beretta, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a real gun. It's a real gun. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he could just like shoot a motherfucker from twenty yards away in a pool. Okay, but uh, the gun has to be above water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real real misnomer called a sub aqua, but you know. How does a harpoon gun work? Well, it's not oh, a cartridge. One shot. I assume it's some sort of pneumatic mechanism that yeah, sends like out the harpoon. Like uh, a Nerf gun? I've seen some harpoon guns that are basically just giant slingshots. Yeah. But okay. because a like harpoon. Like that ladle. Yeah, yeah. But like because a harpoon is so hydrodynamic, I guess, it can move very fast through the water. Okay. Even though there's a lot of drag. Hmm. Hmm. Dope. That's how we can go sunfishing. Okay. Sunfish fishing. Why would we take that fish away from his father? <laughs> Incredible. That's why I didn't, he, that's ha- I didn't grow up with a dad. Food. That fish won't grow up with a dad. Wow. How do you think? Okay. How do you think the boy would fare if the samurai was on a horse in water? Um, uh, we can start there and then move to land. <laughs> <laughs> can horses swim? Uh, they, Red Dead says they can. Mm-hmm. Uh, I for think, at least a brief time. I think in the ocean. Horse drown, but Takes still the samurai. samurai. The samurai no, no, can no. stand on it. <laughs> exactly. uh, on land, it's, <laughs> the pool is actually just like ten feet, and if he stands on the horse, it's just tall enough, <laughs> and he's just swinging away. Um, here's oh, the thing: I want some theme music for that. Can you imagine just like fucking Avengers music coming? Da da da. He like he just he, we see like the boys like. He slowly they drown. receding into the water. It's okay. And then, like, we just see a uh, perspective shot, like Life of Pi, uh, where the boy is just like, oh, it's time. They drowned. And we just see behind the boy's shoulder, the samurai stand up. Da, 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 <laughs> da, 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 and then da, he da. uses his special ranged attack move where he sends, like, a blade way. Oh, oh that's badass. Yeah. Right. Why didn't um, we think about Demon that? Slayer. Demon Slayer. Demon yeah, Slayer would do that, yeah. yeah. Um, here's the thing. On land, I'm going to have to give it to Samurai on horseback. Because have you ever been next to a horse? They are intimidating. I'm scared mm-hmm. of horses. Um, what are you so scared about? They can bite you, I guess. They're too big. They, they're they very intimidating. Fucking kill Here's them. the thing. They're impressive right. creatures. I finished they have them eyes like in people. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> they have eyes like people and scares me what's behind well, them. They do the, that thing with their mouth. You know, some people have faces like a horse. <laughs> like Chris. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> he looks just like an Appaloosa. <laughs> Not even a Siberian. <laughs> Siberian horses. No, That's a shitty horse. Serbian. 
That's better. Yeah. Serbian horses. Just, you know it's a good horse because it could shoot down a night night wing. What is it called? <laughs> the F-117 night thing. Nice. What the fuck are we talking about? A plane? The stealth bomber guy. Oh, okay. Holy shit, what's the name of that? Is it night something? Nighthawk. The F-117 Nighthawk. Okay. Uh, the one that Serbia shot down, and they brag about it even today. Yeah. Uh, the guys. horse shot it down? Yeah, the Serbian horse could shoot it down because it's from Serbia. It's it's a <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful blonde horse. And You're not Serbian. blonde. Um, Remember I Hidalgo? Blonde. Yeah. That horse that was could a shoot movie. down a Nighthawk. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Let her buck. <laughs> you know the horse from Tangled? That one. You'd fuck that horse. That one could fight a kid. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Agreed. I didn't even consider the idea of the the horse. The horse is allied with this. Yeah, animal. yeah. It's also trying to kill the kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the samurai might have this. <laughs> yeah, because one bullet's not gonna take out a fucking horse. Unless you hit oh, him no. the fucking face. You'd have to get real yeah. nice, mm-hmm. real close. Mm-hmm. Or that honestly, horse is gonna trample that. Well, dead. I mean, well, so like, if the kid gets the shot in the face, if the kid can aim. Virginia kid, remember Virginia yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Let's been see. hunting for West Virginia. Almost have. He's been hunting for five years now. If he's ten, yeah, they start that early, huh? Mm-hmm. Legally, they're allowed to start hunting at three, but most parents don't take them out at least until four and a half. Yeah, b- below the Mason Dixon line, people just baptize their children in deer blood. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's godless down there. Backwards deer people. blood and copperhead, <laughs> uh, which is counterintuitive <laughs> yeah, to baptism, but. You know, oh, you know, Ohio's in a great spot above the Mason Dixon line, so we never got baptized in blood. South of Canada, so we don't fucking suck. Could you? <laughs> wow, <laughs> aggressive. I'll take. Why any... are you so I'm aggressive to the one person that's nicer than you? They're not that nice. <laughs> they put all their hate and sin in the geese, <laughs> <laughs> and then they torment the world with those things. And you know what? There's there must be some sort of conspiracy because Canadian geese are a protected species. You're what? not even allowed to kill them. But that's fucking fu- everywhere. That's ludicrous. I, I know. If oh, when, next time I'm walking <laughs> downtown next to the river and a geese hisses at me, I'm going to snap its neck. <laughs> you go to jail. You will go I don't to care. Prison. You, you are not strong enough that's, for prison. That's <laughs> great theory. That's, where, that's the hill you die on. Killing a goose. I don't want to No, I probably would never animal. kill a goose. I will not die on any hill. He, it's he's too tiring to get it's up a there. Valley. I will, I will I, die in a valley. No, no, we need to re, we need to reclaim the phrase. I will not die on any hill. I will kill on this hill. <laughs> Hell yeah! This is the hill I claim on. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's remove. Let's remove the compounding variable. On land, horse versus West Virginian boy with a gun. <laughs> no samurai. No samurai, it's just the horse. If the horse is trying to kill the kid. The horse is trying to kill the kid. I think in most cases, the horse wins. Mm. Yeah. The horse just has to get Does to the trample. It's too powerful that the horse is trying to kill him. Yes. Okay. And he's trying to kill the horse, presumably. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. He has to... Open field. Open field. That is horse Revolver? terrain, though. That, that is horse terrain. That is horse terrain. Revolver still? <laughs> yeah. He's got to shoot that horse like... Like, if you get... A couple in each lung before it gets to you, maybe it collapses. I think if the horse is smart enough to know to that it wants to kill this boy, it, it'll evade some maneuver. Like zigzag, Sorry, I'm zigzag. Still, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm still thinking about. Uh, you imagine a horse zigzagging. I'm still thinking about the idea that like I don't have to imagine it. The kid it's doesn't fun. know that the horse wants to kill him, <laughs> so like the horse is just like, <laughs> and then like, and then like he looks over at it, it just starts like nervously eating some fucking grass, <laughs> and then as soon as he looks away. <laughs> oh no no it's the, the horse is gonna make its intentions known the... what was that that's good that's that's the horse gallop i think the horse is gonna make its intentions known <laughs> the uh this one got shot already. His... <laughs> i was i was gonna say um his horse wife slept with the boy <laughs> and, he, and it's in, oh he's in like a fit god. of passion oh my god it's, it's a crime of passion so this okay. horse wife's a pedophile first <laughs> off this horse wife's so a wait. pedophile and this is a tall fucking kid do i want the horse to win Yes. No, no, I don't. I think this boy slings dick. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Well, that, no, no. The, 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 horse, the horse wife took advantage of him. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. That's How? not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> um, have, you seen, have I showed you JRHMBR? 
No. What? No. I'll show it to you guys afterwards. A surprisingly very <laughs> on on topic video. Okay, great. Incredible. Uh, no, here's like. At least we know that if the horse does kill the boy in a crime of passion, he's protected by law. I don't know about that. Romeo and Juliet laws. The horse is protected. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe not. <laughs> you're uh, you're allowed to kill your lover. Is that the Romeo and Juliet law? Well, we know no matter what, th- does the horse belong to someone? Because if it doesn't, the kid, I believe, is allowed to shoot whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah. I don't think mm-hmm. this is this is a free range horse. So okay. I think you're allowed to kill a horse. No, that kid is not. If it's horse season, season it, you can't shoot him out of season. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I wonder how often horse season rolls around. Can you imagine a world where horses are like like a deer species, where they're just that big of a problem, and we need to dedicate a whole portion of the year to could hunting you, the horse? Could you imagine horse crossing signs on roads? <laughs> <laughs> you think a, a deer will mess up your car? Uh, uh, a full size Clydesdale? <laughs> Bro, you, I bet you clip its legs. It hits the front of your car, you just fucking flip over it. I bet it's similar to... The, there, was a like a, there was a Mythbusters about this, where yeah. with M- Mies, I believe is the plural, with Mies, you have to, the you are safer if you accelerate into the yeah. Mies. Mm-hmm. You gotta get it over it'll, your car. it'll hit you and go over. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Because it's so mm. tall, your car will hit its legs and it'll roll over your car. It'll probably really fuck up your car. But, but you might live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I think... I think a a big old fucking horse. It walks away from a car crash nine times out of ten. Nine I times believe out. it. It like probably limp it. and it fucking spits on your engine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those horse? The what is it? Miller commercials. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Budweiser. Uh, Budweiser, Budweiser horses with yeah. the Clydesdales. My mom liked those commercials for for and a, and the dog, there's a dog. And the dog and the Clydesdale and, and the their donkey. buddies. Remember the donkey? I don't remember the Where the donkey. Donkey, won- the donkey wanted to pull the Clydesda- the, the Budweiser Aww. car. <laughs> and he's like, he's doing all this training and he's training and then uh, I, he might have gotten on. <laughs> Donkeys- I know, I think, I, I think, I might be fucking this up bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he went to the tryouts and he failed and... The guy that's running the tryouts is like, sorry, better luck next year. But then all the Clydesdales, like, they do like, if they, <laughs> no, no, they do a Rudy thing where they put all their harnesses on the coach's desk. <laughs> and then the next scene is the donkey <laughs> leading the cart. This is, I might have made that up in, <laughs> in a dream somewhere. With every other. Whenever I'm gonna be honest. Is dropping the I was ball, so fucking high. I was still winning. Why are you ball. so far away? I, we talked about Clyde's and I'm like, I can relax now. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Most horses, they scare you. Clydesdales are like the Superman of horses. And they bring me and you, back, and, and they're like, frightened I'm, of Superman. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh, you should be. Yeah, he could. He's yeah, a he nerd. Anyway. They have no opportunity. I can beat him up. Character growth? Bro. Exactly. They're already the peak of what they can be. Let me tell you about every fucking Super Bowl commercial for Budweiser. <laughs> Wait, it's a, it's hold all on. About What's the, story the peak for the Clydesdale? Yeah. The peak of horse? Yes. I don't of, know. of existence. They're, oh. They're like the God is a Clydesdale. I don't know if that makes sense. Pulling the universe. They're probably not as fast as like a God is a Clydesdale pulling no, no, the universe. They're too big. Yeah. Way too big. I'd rather have a fast horse. But they're definitely like the horse. tallest. Yeah, for sure. They can stomp the shit out of your enemies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, now I feel like we're doing, like, a whole samurai ninja thing again. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> a horse versus ninja. <laughs> Who wins? Which kind of horse? The ninja has fucked the horse's wife. <laughs> okay, all right. But, but he but the, ho- to do but the horse the horse doesn't know where the ninja is because he's sneaky. Right. <laughs> yeah, of course, because he's a ninja. I don't that think the horse said, can find the ninja. They can't sniff him out. That being said, open yeah. field. <laughs> open field. We're in the horse's terrain. Yeah, open field. Tunnels? Uh, maybe let's say the let's ninja say, can hide in the shadow of the horse drum. <laughs> <laughs> it's his ninja way. Uh, I mean, shit, he hid the fucking let, shadow of his wife. <laughs> let's say open field interspersed with like waist high grass, mm. like a velociraptor. Oh no! He, I think the horse, the horse can't do it. The horse can't kill a ninja because the like the ninja have to work for it. It's not his horsey mm. way. Uh, I don't know if. 
I don't associate ninjas with horses, so I don't know how they how good they'd be at rodeo. Yeah, I never actually saw any in Naruto. <laughs> were there no horses? I don't they, think that, there they were all extinct. They point. jumped on leaves and stuff to get around. Well, that yeah. was the Hidden Leaf Village. We never got to see the Hidden Horse Village. <laughs> oh, the Hidden Horse Village. <laughs> <laughs> they were hidden. Yeah, where is it hiding? That's why I didn't see the fucking old. ninja that played in the woods. Um, Incredible. <laughs> You're actually the wrong. the The horse does win because the horse also has a gun. <laughs> oh, okay. is it like Jonah Hex? The, the, remember the the horse with the Gatling guns on its side? Anybody? That's so fucking. Cool. I think you're the only person in the world who's seen Jonah Hex. <laughs> it barely long enough to be a feature film. Uh, speaking <laughs> with of Gatling the credits, guns. if the credits were not in the movie, not long enough to be a feature film. Uh, speaking of Gatling guns, also starring Megan Fox. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jonah Hex. We uh, watched it together. <laughs> GE makes those. General Electric makes Gatling guns. Yeah, for for uh, I think military I helicopters. Did you know that the washing machine company that they, yeah it they is. just like make things that spin. General Electric. Um, did you know oh. that the Department of Energy is in charge of all the nukes? Hmm. That makes sense. Yes. Yes. So theoretically, they have to do, deal with all the uh, nuclear. Material. Theoretically, they're the most powerful, uh, the most militarily. So, militarily if the branches powerful. of the government went to war with each other, they got the nukes. Yeah, everybody loses. Well, that, that's not. Oh, branches of the military. Yeah. They said branches of the government, <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got what 538 um, congressmen, okay. nine justices, <laughs> and the entire United <laughs> the, States military. If the executive branch <laughs> had a civil war with itself, and it was all the departments and cabinet members, I don't think anything on God's earth could kill Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and think... trust me, God's earth <laughs> yeah. has tried. Yeah. He's on his like fourth heart. <laughs> I thought um, he was dead. No. We lament the day. <laughs> Is he our Margaret Thatcher? He's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um just so everybody's clear, the horse's wife was Megan Fox. Oh. Okay. Oh, just so we're clear. Lucky lady. Uh, lucky <laughs> we <Ninja>. we uh <laughs> We here at Don't Book Lucky res kid, uh, dude. respect the uh, <laughs> former vice president. Uh, Wait, sorry, sir. hold on a second. Lucky kid, Megan Fox raped him. <laughs> oh my god. You're upset about that? I'd be okay with that. Oh my god. No, 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 like, no. Oh my god, no, no. mom. Megan Fox is the name of the horse. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Lucky kid. <laughs> uh, still lucky. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't rape a horse, everybody. Don't do <laughs> Don't it. Don't do it. Ride a cow. You back them up against a cliff so they have to back up into you. <laughs> That's what you do. They've, o they've only got one way to yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> Kicks you in the chest. <laughs> Horses are scary. <laughs> That's why the that's why the boys gotta keep his di the, and the ninja have to keep their distance. Yeah. <laughs> if we can if we can <laughs> You're so red. If a kid got kicked in the chest by a horse, how far back do you think? <laughs> twenty feet. Ooh, probably yeah. good, good fifteen twenty feet. <laughs> the ragdoll physics on that one. It, it'd go. It'd probably go as far as that baby deer did. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine <laughs> saying, "Oh, oh are we talk about roll." Oh, yeah. we're talking about involved in yeah, We're talking about roll. Yeah, 20, 30 feet. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, uh, have we told that story? The baby deer. Yeah, yeah there was a whole it, podcast of it. Oh, it. that's right. Because we had the talk about throwing the deer, and it was Bigfoot that was having sex with the deer. <laughs> uh, Ohio grass man does. That. I, I was yeah. about to ask the Ohio grass man or or horse. I don't know. Does the horse have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. Which one banged whose wife? No, 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 wait, hold on. The horse can survive a, uh, a car uh, accident. That's what that we just discovered. They team up and just kill people. I, oh, when oh. did we discover that? We just said that as if it was a fact that a horse could survive oh. a crash. I want you just to go oh. to your eyes. They, they just make me believe anything you say. There's nothing but truth behind I want, it. I want you guys to know that I shared our, our lore of the Ohio grass man <laughs> with people at work uh, because they asked me, they flat out asked me, they were like, they were like, if you had to find a mythical creature, which one would it be? And I was immediately just Ohio grass man. <laughs> and they're like, what? what? <laughs> and I'm like, Ohio grass man. Do they even live in Ohio? How did they not know this? Like, John did not know about it before. I had oh, no right, idea. True. I didn't <laughs> know. And like, their answers were like, 
Bigfoot or like, I don't know. Which I think that's basically your answer. <laughs> sure. Uh, but I'm like, I'm like look, the famous one. you, you take this little grass man. <laughs> I guess I probably shouldn't say that. That sounds pretty derogatory. Oh, God. little grass man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this little grass man. Like, worst case scenario, it hucks a deer at you. <laughs> <laughs> and then it takes your car and fucks you. Why? <laughs> your horse wife. Yeah. <laughs> Not making fun of <laughs> <laughs> I say man. <laughs> oh, purr for me. Was it good for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that a donkey? <laughs> is that is that MGK? MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. Are they still together? I think so. Okay. Lucky guy. They did a movie. To- he is a, a horse. horse? He is a horse. He is a horse. <laughs> no, he's a donkey. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All the horses like little donkeys. They're all the way around. You know, I was about to get really mad that Eminem dissed a horse in in his song, but if it's, if he's a donkey, it's fine. Yeah. I love donkeys. Have you seen that video of the donkey smiling? <laughs> it's so cute. No. <laughs> I'd pet that donkey. I just don't want to say Remember? anything bad about horses because they scare the shit out of me. <laughs> They're gonna hunt They're your gonna ass down. They're gonna kill me. Wasn't there a trophy in they Red Dead One where you had to ride a donkey from like one corner of the map all the way to the other? You didn't have to ride a donkey to do it. You just had to do. You just had to it ride. It took a lot longer to do that. I love, I love donkeys in that game, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thanks, man. I, I do end up killing a lot of horses and donkeys in Minecraft because they drop leather. leather. Do you remember the donkey lady from Red Dead? No. Oh, the, it was Red like Dead a, 2? Well, it, it was, they referenced, it was a glitch in Red Dead 1. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, They yeah. referenced the glitch in Red Dead 2. Um, it was just a video. I remember watching it as a kid and being like, this is creepy as fuck. <laughs> Where it's just this woman and it's a donkey. But some glitch occurred where the woman's... Uh, character model is the donkey Mm -hmm. and so she's just i just remember finding it weirdly creepy he's like riding around the woman like she's a donkey and she's making weird donkey noises and it was just creepy as fuck to me gross wait so like it was her voice making donkey noises no no it was a donkey okay but like the character was just a lady some mexican lady (laughs) oh yeah so it was a sorry it was an actual character model of a person, is what yeah. you're telling me. Well, I just remember, I just though, really, okay. I went to your house, and you were playing Red Dead, and, like, it was the first time through the campaign or whatever, and uh, you were, like, going down the road, and this, some woman's like, hey, <laughs> hey, help over here! And he was like, yeah, oh, bro. It's like, I'm like, why did you shoot her, John? And he's like, oh, don't worry, just around this corner is gonna be, like, seven or eight bandits. Just around this <laughs> corner. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no hesitation. She, she says, hey, and I immediately <laughs> I think, pull out the weapon, aim up a little bit, and fucking shot in the goddamn face. I think, that, I think that answers the age-old question. John with horse versus <laughs> woman on side of the road. John wins John every win. time. Every single time. I win that battle. I win that battle nine, nine times, times out of ten. ten. <laughs> oh, he's here coming. Oh, my God. Do you think this conversation was going to turn out the way it did? <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. That tenth time, I try to quick draw and I shoot my horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's always the best. And the horse rears back and you shoot in the face. <laughs> Red Dead Two, yeah. Red Dead Two. Like all I was going along the side of a cliff, I like, flip over and just you hear Arthur like, oh. uh, I spent way too long, literal hours of my life replaying the mission from Red Dead One where you take the wagon from Bonnie's ranch to Armadillo. Yeah, and there's that huge cliff, <laughs> and I just could not so contain cool. myself. I had to drive off at the strange man, yeah. and him and I and the courses would go over. <laughs> you like hopping off of it as you're jumping off. <laughs> so, Red Dead Redemption Two is the third game, right? Yes, Te- uh, technically. Red Dead Revolver, but I don't think they're. I don't know if they're, they're connected. They're not connected. <clears throat> they're like. Loosely connected in like the same world kind of thing. There might be a reference uh, yeah. to Red mm-hmm. from Red Dead Revolver. Is so is so Rockstar made GTA. I know that. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, did they make Red Dead then? They made Red Dead Redemption. I don't know about Red Dead. I don't know. I thought or, they acquired well, the rights think, to Red Dead. Kind of like I how say, I don't um, think Rockstar started making GTA games until like. No, no, they GTA were the two they three. were the first one. Yeah. Oh, they made the very first yeah. one. Oh, I thought they no, acquired it. I don't think they made the first one. Really. Yeah, I thought they acquired it. I oh, no. assume they had. I don't think they were called Rockstar at the time. Oh, maybe that's it. Uh, okay. I think they got rebranded or something. Um, because I know, like, uh, what what is their name? Forty two times bigger. Um, oh, Bethesda. Bethesda. I know Bethesda. I know Bethesda. Didn't, Sixteen times didn't the detail. Start Fallout. They acquired it. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I believe they, they started had, Elder Scrolls. Though, they right? did. Mm-hmm. No, okay. Is that, is that, that, is that <laughs> so? I was like, I was wondering what the story was with Rockstar in there. I think Rockstar might be the last. I say this because I'm a pessimist. One of the last game companies that I have utter faith in. Yeah. Even if they make a bad, like a bit of a stinker, like Red Dead Two, obviously incredible. The online, meh. Yeah. Like even GTA Online is still funner to me, but I think it's just because there's more to do. There's like I can drive a helicopter. Yeah. They didn't put any support into. Red Dead Online. Um, I still would have loved to play with with you, but uh, you, you just it died down you know, for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, but um, that being said, even if GTA Six is a bit of a stinker, mm-hmm. I think I just trust them to make an unbelievable experience that's going to blow me away no matter what. In fact, the I don't even think they were in charge of the remakes, but the only bad press I've seen about Rockstar recently is those GTA remakes they did that yeah. were in a bundle were pretty shit apparently. Yeah, but I don't think they had any direct, yeah. like Rockstar North didn't have any direct involvement with it. Yeah. Do we have a release date yet for Elder Scrolls Six? Nope. nope. Yeah. Probably. But have they said it's in the works? They said yeah, yeah. they are working on it. That it was confirmedly announced <clears throat> that it is being okay. made. Um, Do you think there will be a new engine? I don't know. I don't think we're gonna hear anything about Elder Scrolls Six until like. Skyrim fully finally fucking shits it. Uh, well, they wanted Starfield to be this, like, th- to be a new platform, like Skyrim. Mm-hmm. But it, it's dog shit. I mean, so say people. I haven't played it, obviously. But uh, it's not good, from what uh, I, I, that people say. Uh, there's this guy, he's this, uh, his name, uh, he goes by Pirate Software, and uh, he makes... <clears throat> He's an indie. <laughs> <laughs> Just tried to sneak that one in there. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Shut up. Stop. I'm trying to redo it. Uh, there's this guy. He goes you want by... me to cut all that out? <laughs> <laughs> Just... It's not happening. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Larger. It's getting larger and larger. Uh, the, the part you have to cut out. Hmm. This dude, he, he streams on Twitch. I see his shorts on YouTube. He, he goes with Pirate Software. He's a game, in, an indie game developer. Uh, and I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think you've po- you yeah, posted a short Thor. from him yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> he was talking about Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it in. You gotta keep doing it. I'm not cutting it. I'm sorry. It out. It's like his fucking disc just like skipped. <laughs> 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 he's gotta balance out the needle. There's something wrong. That last one, he's mid sentence. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about Starfield and Bethesda, and they're like uh, talking about why some of the planets are like empty and barren. And he was like, when we went to the moon. Uh, I've seen Ar- this clip. Armstrong, you know, they were still excited. And was like, that's because humanity as a species was advancing. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know if you know this. I'm not actually exploring the motherfucking moon. I'm playing a video game. Yeah, exactly. No Man's Sky made the same mistake. I was into No Man's Sky. I, so I bought what they sold, which was a large, empty universe that I get to explore and find all the little animals and the crazy little shit. I loved that, and I'm glad I spent the $60 on it. It turned into something else, but I sold the game before that. <laughs> I sold the game before I got to experience that. Uh, but I digress. I think I still own it. You know? I got a really good deal. Because when I sold the game, speaking of Red Dead 2, uh, it was in 2018, and that was when all these updates were coming. And so GameStop gave me $30 for this Ooh, used copy of No Man's Sky. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That, and like, this was back before it got good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was at the time, at the, I think the reason the price was so high is because it was getting all those updates at the, at the time. Mm. Oh. The, the 2.0 updates. Or yep, yep. And that, that bought uh, Red Dead for me pretty much. Half of it, at least. Hell yeah! 
Well, uh, I think this has been a good one. Yeah. I've enjoyed talking to you guys. You can tell it's good because of how much John is sweating. I am <laughs> burning up right now. Dude, I saw this thing and uh-huh. it, was, it was the, uh... Goodbye, uh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>